Okay, so good morning, everyone, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back into this class. Yesterday we saw about the transform map. In that, any any doubt, any dis any discussion, anyone required here? Did you guys try something at your end for this part? Because a lot of catchy, boomy. Sneha, John, Sneha, Avi, sorry, Sneha. Kunal, Deepika. <clears throat> Anyone tried the export import via transform map? The silence is not a golden hill, guys. I'm telling you. If you will not practice, it's going to be tough for you. So now the question comes, Atul, suppose I don't know how to create the transform map. And even I don't want to be learned as well. Then what we can do here? So I'll show you some some another way to load the data in service now without using or without creating the transform map by yourself. Okay. So let me go here. <clears throat> so let's. Let, let me open that Excel sheet which you uh, saw yesterday. <clears throat> this one, right? Now let's see example, let me remove everything here. Okay. And I want to add a new record, but not with the transfer, with, not with the help of transfer map. Okay, no problem, let me go here. <clears throat> Okay, number this first name YY, gender is male, phone number limit. Okay, and I'll put the user ID here. <clears throat> Generally, this, this practice we avoid, but yes, service now give me a option as well so now i click on the save what i'll do i'll go here on which table you want to do open that table okay and right click and try put the import i click on the import now you want to insert or update. I say I want to be insert the record. Do you want the Excel sheet? I don't want because yesterday we downloaded it. So that's the same thing. If you want to update, you will get the all records as well in that. Means all the records which exist in my instance as of now for the in the user table. All the records will be there and then you can make a changes in that. As of now, I'm going for the insert option. Choose a file. <clears throat> so what I'm doing here by choosing a file, I'm doing the data load here. Okay. Everybody agree that this, this was the first step we done yesterday? Yes or no? Everybody agree on this part? We done the data load. Now I click on the upload here. Just, just see the the see the magic in in background, and try to correlate what we done yesterday. When we say I am doing the data load, see, it will create a table for me. Import complete. It means by this, service now created a import table automatically on your behalf. If you want to preview the data, click on the preview import data. Okay, click complete this. Click start back. Where is the complete here? Okay, complete import. It says that data is available, but you cannot see until you click on the complete import. Means data load is getting completed now. Correct? It is where? It is still in the, you can see, it is in the user table. 
added now. It means what we did via import and via import option, we did we did not get anything new. No, we just added the data here and uploaded this Excel sheet, and my user record has been created. Now, if you want to see the import site, let me go here and show you. <clears throat> this one we can say can be there. Yes. This is the one which has been created by service now automatically. See, there, there, are, there are two ways to bring the data in service now. As of, as of now, I'm saying, number one, you can go and create your own transform map, import set table, then done it. Or other way is that you can upload the Excel sheet and the things will be done. Now, if you want to see the transform map, Let's see the transform map. Created today. See, this is the transform map created by service now by their cell. I did not get anything here, right? I just added an Excel sheet and data has been loaded. That is, the import set has been created. After that, when I click on the complete import, I am able to see that data has been loaded into the user table. Clear everyone till this point? Uh, Atul, can you just show once again that okay. upload? Let, let's do one thing. Let's add one more record here. Okay. Okay, now I'll saving this. Simply go in the user table on which you want to be import that. Okay. Right click, import. I'm not exporting, I'm importing it now, remember. Click import. You want to insert a record? I said yes, I want to insert a record. Okay, choose file from where you want to do that part. I said, take this file, upload. It is doing the data. It is creating the import set for you. Preview import data. It says if you want to see the data has been added. So now you can see one that what data has been imported here. This is the data has been imported here. It is important, but did not commit till now. Now, if you want to commit it, click on the complete import. And it will take you the user table now. See, it did not work on the first one. Why? Because by default service now put the unique key on the this thing, user ID. But second record has been created. Clear, Sneha? It's, I guess it's, it's difficult, yeah. right? It's clear now. Okay. Fine. Clear, everyone? Any doubt? Any questions? <clears throat> now, I have a one more point. Before that, anyone has any doubt here? I proceed further. Kunal, Nupur, Avi, Sneha, Deepika, Kachi, Laura. To me, Great. let me try to add one more time. Last time, <clears throat> okay. Now, I'll give you one example. You remember how we do the clone? And how we do the upgrade? 
tell me the sequence of cloning. Um, cloning is prod, dev, then test. Okay. So prod, dev, and test, right? And upgrade, dev, test, and prod. Clear? And you have, you remember one more thing, update set? Yeah, you move data. Um, not data, not, you are using the wrong word. It's, it's not the configuration. Correct. Configuration, Please, yeah. So, sorry, sorry for highlighting, but you are using the wrong word here. Data okay. means all the transactional data. So update set says dev to test to prod, yeah. but only configuration. What about customization? Con configuration code, anything. Okay. Now the question come, what about data? Data will move in all environments. Number one, create a map in dev and in test and in prod. What do you think? It is the right approach or not? So it means three environments, three transform map. What you guys think here? <clears throat> because data will not go in the update set, that's clear. I think so. I mean, it's foundational data, so. Okay. Or, I'm, I'm giving one more, or, I use, import option in dev separately, test or prod, or shall I use XML base data movement? Three options, I need the one answer. Let me start from Bicola. What is the best option? And why? You need to experience this XML that I I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Let, let put your, your open TC degree knowledge here now. What knowledge? XML, eh? XML is something like I'm putting the data in the XML and bringing it to the next environment. Yeah. You can export in, it and import it into the OPI I environment. Okay. So Bikwila says this is the right option. That's the preferred one for me. Preferred one. Why? Uh, Why I mean, that is a preferred one? In in the meantime, Sneha, do you have your own instance PDI? Yeah. Can you just log in? Yeah. And and uh, if possible, create an account for me or just give me your uh, admin password. Okay. Ping, ping me on, on this uh, WhatsApp only. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because of why? So why is because you can XML, you can export any data through XML. And you can do oh, in what? you can do in Excel as well. Yeah, I mean, I have no reason to be honest. I just feel like XML. Okay. Laura, what do you think? Sophisticated way. That, that's fine. Laura, what do you think? I think I'll go with um, export um, option in their system. Okay, Laura says this thing. Okay. Deepika, what do you say? Deepika, what you say? Uh, I think shall I use Excel import option? Excel import. Yeah, test. Hmm. But why? Okay, I guess everybody is be little little confused here that what option is the best one. 
How many of you are the back back bencher? B B open no no problem. How many of you are the back benchers in their college life in their school life? Nupur say yes, I am. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. But fail Abdul because. Sorry. Yeah, good, good, good. The question is that how many of you were the back benchers in their college life? Are in the school life. Okay. Everybody is able to listen to me, or any 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 disruption in between? Yes, sir. Okay. So able to listen. I was the back bencher. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. So either you sit on the last bench. either you sit in the on the middle bench or either you sit on the first bench your roll number will never change correct in that class you still having the same roll number in this service now when i am discussing something like what is the best option the the root the fundamental is that which we call as a id remember that we have a concept of the sis id everybody remember yes right yeah what sis id says sis id says that this particular field this particular column this particular record has a unique 32 alpha numeric number on its name and you can search via sis id if in a class i have a three or four nupurs i cannot say nupur stand up only all four or five will be stand up i'll say nupur 101 roll number please stand up then only one nupur will stand up so in this case this is not a good option the reason can be the reason can be i am telling you after this i'll i'll take your instance here because when we move our data from dev to test i want to use the same sys id for that column if you are moving from one class to another class roll number never change that is that is my at, at least in college it's not change in school it's fine or if i say that if i am i am studying in university so we have a recession number that recession number is valid if i take any course admission in that university irrespective of any branch any department but if i want to change my university then that will be change so i am i am in bcom my registration number is 41 i am doing mcom from the same university my still registration number is 41 so this is the best option because when we move the data via xml the sys id is same in all the environment these two are not option because if i create a new transfer map in the dev in the test instance then the user id which i created will be different let me show you uh, uh, sir did you ping me your, your instance just a moment that it was like a uh, hibernating Clip, i'm just keeping mode yeah okay no problem so now what we'll do I'll, i'll show you a pure example of this so now we have this record right let me show you in the our instance open this record go here and show xml this underscore id 
this is a society correct i am i'm copying it for for your reference okay link stands via excel import agree everyone till this point agree let me come back and open the another user what is another user we created another user is last name u u this one theek hai let me open this and show xml side and copy this now i'll show you a difference and this user we will move to sneha instance via xml okay let me remove this uu from here run okay just just to show you something i'm i'm doing this part let me open this one okay Now keep your instance active and do one thing: create a user for me, okay, and give me admin rights because I need your okay. instance maybe next next week as well for export import option. Okay, okay, okay. can can you paste into the chat window only in in uh, our skype group okay okay I'll, i'll stop i'll stop the screen sharing for a minute and then i'll log in it so now i'll show that why this why this difference is there why i am recommending and remember the best option to move the data is always xml xml is what it just take the data everything and take it to the next level sneha quickly okay good Okay. Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay. Fine. Now let's go here. Okay. And import this user. import tick choose excel this then upload suppose sneha instance is my test instance and my instance is dev okay if you follow this option review and complete okay 
ओके यूजर क्रेडिट एवरी वन ओके एग्री ऑन दिस पॉइंट यस और नो लेट मी कॉपी द सीस आई डी एंड लेट मी पेस्ट इट ठीक है नाउ सी बोथ सीस आई डी आर डिफरेंट एग्री द रीजन इज दैट बिकॉज वी आर इंसर्टिंग अ न्यू रिकॉर्ड ऑन द टेस्ट इंस्टेंस and if you do if you follow this practice then every time your sys id of the user in dev and test will be different which is a big 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 gap here now what i will do i'll go to my instance go and export xml then i come to sneha's one back export xml sorry not export it is import import xml choose xml here open upload अरे कहा गया दिस वन राइट ओपन इट कॉपी सीसाइटी गो गया दिस इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ डूइंग द एक्सपोर्ट data having a similar not similar same sys id in all the environments we can do this funda for our transactional data as well but we not recommend that part when when we do the import set sorry update set what update set do update set also do the same thing they create a xml and they bring to the next environment clear funda yahan tak so that is why we are saying that we use this option because sys id is similar or the same or not similar actually same at every place clear everyone let me come here yes ken nupur konal sneha avi bigola lara kachi yes satul funda funda is clear right so in in the interview it has been asked number of times how you import the data in service now then you can say if it is first time i'll create a transform map only in the dev instance this one and once the data is available then from here i'll use xml based see suppose you are shifting in a new house once all the cartoons or the boxes are available in your room or in your house then it is up to you where to be placed correct so in the same manner that i'll just put the boxes once in a house and then i'll do the movement from one room to another room via xml based clear funda yeah. another another important point if i if i go here this id will never available in this list view even you try it click here this id will not available here
not bring sys id in this list view no it is possible but it requires some i guess system level changes which i have no where but i i saw this option actually i saw one of my project i use this option sys id is only and only used available in the search area so like how you can search now if i say sys id this id is this and run see it find out the result for me there is another important point you tried a lot but you cannot bring this id here unless some specific changes need to be done on that but but yes you can search via this id in the in the filters that's fine that is available for everyone okay all clear till this point guys any doubt any any question any clarification required here no doubt from me also great so with this we completed our this portion as well yesterday i was trying to we just make a make a schedule that how much time we need more so we are on the track by 17th of march because 18th march after one month we have a festival called holi that that definitely will be off for everyone in in at least in my side so we will completing on this 17th okay now the next topic for today which i what i bring it easy and little relaxing is called the reports and dashboard we'll try to complete this little bit on the pa part if i have something in my system otherwise a little tough but we'll try to go for the same reporting and dashboard okay, okay. reports are one of the basic and standard module given by service master what roles are required that you have to be see as a standard practice any new module you have to be see that what roles are required but i will tell you see it is it is it is not a user training for reporting it is a admin training from that perspective so i'll go here and search for the reports so multiple options are there view and run report create new schedule reports header footer changes statics all the things will be there okay what is the view and run see when we when we purchase a new mobile phone we get few of the ringtones in the mobile phone either you use that fine if you don't want to use you can download your own ringtone and you can use that part so it is something similar with service now give to us it says that i am giving you need about 500 reports out of the box it is 663 because i have few another plugins has been activated so these are the reports you can see you can search a report via report name let me see i want to search on the incident so you can search where the title contains incident the report name is incident or the table incident has been used like if i say where the incident table has been used so these many reports are on the created on the incident table <coughs> atul sorry to interrupt yes. Uh, yes, i have a question like what is a uh, reports like here is it an application is it a feature of service now what do we it call is the application. it, what do it we is the application it's an application reporting reporting okay. is the application here like like we have incident change problem in the similar manner we have a reporting as a application okay okay so all the reports are these a uh, predefined reports or we are creating yes. these reports or it is these creating are the it automatically predefined predefined given by service now out okay. of the box i'll i'll tell you that how okay. you can create your own report as well 
Okay. Okay. So, like, if I want to see that incident by state, click on this. You can see the report, even with the data as well. So now you can see report is ready for you. It's loading the data for me for a minute. See. This this is the beauty of service now actually. Let's let's try to create one report by our own. Let's create our report so that I can show the different type of reports as well. Click on the create new here. Again, I am telling you, I will just give you the basics of this. It is not an end user training. I generally take this training in in my in my official projects, but for us it is a high level. The reason is I want you guys to do R and D here, not to me. So report and see it has a four sections: data, type, configuration, and style. Report is batch seven. Source. As of now, let let put the table only. Data source mainly if you have a integration, like you have a, some a database integration, external database integration, then we can use this particular option because we don't have any integration on the place, so we cannot do this part. So what we can do, I can use the table here. On which table you want to create a record? Sorry, you want to create a report. I want to get on the incident one. Incident table. Section one has been done. Type. See, being a operation manager in IT reports play a vital role for me. And I need to evaluate the data in a different format. I have a bar. You can see here. I have a pie donuts. You can see here. I have a time series. You can see here. Multi-dimensional heat map, pivot table are there. Scores are there, and others are there. Totally up to you which type of report you want to create. Today's homework: try to create a simple, simple report on the score, on the heat map, on the pivot, on the bubble, on this part. Process is same. Let's take example. I want to create a report on the donut. Now, on the basis of the type, this configuration will be different. I am telling you very clearly. Let me say, like, like if you can see, I have these many options in the configure. If I change my type to bar, few things has been changed here. So on the basis of the type, your configuration will be changed. Okay. We'll discuss this point little later, and click on the first of all save your report and run your report. Now see, false means incident closed. Active means incident. Not closed, resolved, but not closed. Now the first point come, Atul. How this data is coming? I want to see only a data for the last two months. These are the filters used here. Click on this, or you can use the NLQ as well. This is a, a beautiful a feature has been added by Service now. Now. In every everywhere, click here. Created. Last week. Let me try to put this. I'm telling the way service now expanding their boundaries. It is going to be tough now to match everything, the skills in the service now. So now you can see. It says sorry, not able to understand your query. Let me say only. Uh, not price. 
impact is high. Still not able to see. Let again do impact. This one is active. Let's see what, what it brings. Let's see. Still not able to do that part. Now try to write this thing uh, impact color is. The reason, the reason can be one more reason why it's it's not working. The re, the reason can be because this thing which I'm which I'm doing now is not happily working with the type of the table I can say or the report I can say. So nothing is working. Let's let's not worry on that part. Let me show you something here. I say created. These are the operators which we already discussed on the list filter list view, right? Between month, last three months, and day is today. And that your report is ready. Now, if you want to put anything more here, and Priority is high. So you can see here. You can download it. These are all all cosmetics one which you can do by your side yourself. But if you want to put your conditions, this is the place where you can do. Let me try to do this part here. Priority is or priority is high. Let's see, is it given result to me or not? No. It means by writing this, I am writing something different, which is the report is not able to understand. Now, if you want to make any changes in this in this graph, let me run it again. In this option. Let me remove this one so that I can show you something more. Active group by group by means how you want to show your donuts. I say group by priority. Save. Now you can see. Otherwise, there's no benefit of the two nuts, right? Additional group by means in the P4, how many are? Impact. Now you can click here. If you want to see via priority, it is like this. Impact, it is like this. So this configuration is only, everything is up to you. How you want to make this use uh, in, in your day-to-day -day life. It is all about hands-on guys. There is nothing which I can tell you here. Try to use some function or aggregate. I say sub. Run. It's creating it now. See what we say? Aggregation is sum. There is nothing called sum. It sum will not work in the donuts. Only count will work in the donut. So like this. You want to put anything value formatting here, click here. No formatting option available for this type of reports. You can go to the style. Donut with 60. Earlier it was in the two colors only, but now in the San Diego they have raised it. So now you can see donut size has been increased. Color platelet, several colors. Chart size, medium. Decimal position, 
five then now you see all all it's all all your what i can say your way of working wow this this look good atul but this is a one type of report you go guy you guys go here and try to create a list view list report and try to use this option it it will definitely work i am i'm 100% giving you a guarantee it will definitely work now the point is that if i come to this report can we download yes options are available here can we share this report with anyone else ha <sighs> is it a good option or not sharing is a good option or not that's a good option good option but to whom you want to share oh you can share with the team like uh, another reply like you always require some kind of sharing to the post okay uh, but because because senior manager never get a report they ask their colleagues to create a report and say okay share with me so now we have a sharing option here click on this and you can share it you can share with me with everyone with specific group or users you can share it but this sharing is required a separate role go and check which rule is which rule is required theek okay. hai now another option which is important to be discussed here schedule atul i want this report every day or every morning 5 o'clock in my mailbox you can schedule it and here the scheduling options here daily what time weekly which day monthly which day periodically after how many days you want to repeat and what time you should get that mail once once in a year i want on demand now only or business calendar means every monday or every friday you want it you can send you can send the report to external users external email addresses as well like if i put kunal email id kunal also get this email even though kunal account does not exist in service now this is the benefit of the scheduling here you can send the report automatically to any of the users if you mention that email id like if i say a at the rate this mail will be go you want to put your subject you can put any body you want to put put you want in the pdf these things you can put and finally submit it will be scheduled for everyone clear see i'm i'm not putting a lot of things here because i know that now you are enough mature in this training that you know that what do you mean by the user here unlock add the users and do it try to schedule a report in this instance as per your timings and check your mail are you getting this or not clear guys everyone till this point anything required here <clears throat> atul can we put conditions while scheduling the reports what conditional yes you can put it like date or uh, like between what that, date reports that, needs to that be that required fetched. that required your scripting part here you can do okay. easily you can do no problem in that see there can are a lot of directly schedule from the uh, reports no this is a module given conditions yes you go here and you put anything you want so like it say omit if no record maybe in today's report i have no new record or zero report or zero record 
then no need to be sent this report today things are available see for us main concern is this only when to schedule these two things are important if you put condition put conditional give your scripting part here and then it will go clear sir i guess it's it's difficult sorry sorry hello yes go ahead go ahead yeah uh, these reports are just like auto kind of things like like the data the service so now we can say that we are doing and use it so what if we wanted some fields to create from our side okay okay, okay okay now i am com coming sorry because this is a donut you cannot see the fields here right now if i go here and let me change the type to list view and go to configure here you can use your column i want to show these things only let me run once and show you something now you can see like this if you want any new column here choose column and edit see you can see you can do the group by priority if you want to go additional one i can say impact or maybe incident state is a good option so now you can save by incident state you want to see like this you can do now as this is list view you can export in multiple formats clear kunal your your doubt yeah um okay go ahead go ahead kunal any any doubt for the and uh, my co i was like the thinking about some other point the point is like suppose uh, like whatever the fields are available from the drop down they are going to select okay but suppose uh, i am integrating some from some of the application there and uh, as per my uh, like application there are some fields are missing so those fields i need to create and populate here correct and then yes. yes 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 see when you say integration uh, is in Yes, integration is very very separate thing. When when I do integration of service now and X tool, I'll make sure that the another extra field should be in service now as well. Only then I can bring it here. That you are going on the table level discussion now. So simple point is that what you have in table, you can do your conditionals. You can do your presentation on the on the basis of that. Okay. Now one more thing which is required. Let's say export to PDF. You can portrait landscape, or if you want, you can send an email as well. Let me generate now only export. Eighty-six records are there. Download. Open it. Let me. do you think that it is looking good or this is looking good atul you should come your your name or your batch name or something should be like that only it is taking group name sorry uh, report name so these are thing called the header and footer if you see the footers come on atul what rubbish if you are sending this kind of reports to your ceo or ctos do you think that they like it every senior person like the branding on the reports and how this branding can be done go here and come this side report admin this one and here you will find the option called the uh, where is the header and footer go this one header footer templates 
and you can create your own header footer like as a as of now default is this which is showing these option middle page right page footer is containing run by no i don't want this is run by now nah, i don't want this then make it as a image which image let me put i want this image i want this image should be come so these things you can do it from the header and footer option you can do changes but these only options are available don't say atul can i add something new head no if you want to put report title it will come automatically run updated user user specific text yes world and click on the save now if you export you will get these changes as well so this is coming from the export and import op sorry ex, um, head and footer option here clear everyone till this point any doubt yes guys ask me any doubt any question Laura, Bikola, Sneha, Deepika, Ken, Bumi, Nupur. No, no. Great. This this topic it is is it is just to give you little rest now, for a day, so that you can be little more in the in the easy format and then you can do the practice at your side. Okay. Now one more thing which has been left here. and that is called the dashboard okay one more thing has been left here report if you want to see the reporting analysis that how much time a report is taking you can take the report stats here it will tell you that how many time this report has been run how much time it take and you can analyze that why this report is taking lot of time what data what conditions are be there theek hai so these things basically used by the architects only but if you are a good consultant you can use this in in your improvement sections as well okay now the last point which has been here is called the dashboards a very 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 interesting homework for today what is the difference between dashboard and the home page and kunal just take this question what is the difference between the dashboard and a home page dashboard is a collection of reports which has the multiple tabs like like the, when when we study and if you if you notice that the people who who go for the preparation of ias ips what they have in on their in their room they have a different different sections economics social science or mathematics or hindi or english and they put the sticky notes there they says whenever i open open my eyes and i saw to the wall i should able to see these relevant things that is the purpose of a dashboard here what rules are required you have to find out and believe me i'll not close this course until unless i will be satisfied that everybody is able to to answer my questions i'm going to be set up a surprise test as well for everyone after that only don't don't think atul says that okay one month has been left i can still extend it for the another complete march month i should be confident yes the knowledge which i have i have given to you you guys observe it properly 
Now, dashboard is one of the thing which can be created by any of the user. Click on the create dashboard. Simple, basics, nothing much, no cost, nothing on the pe uh, technical part. But report and dashboard is required for a consultant. It means in these two topics, you should have a mastery actually. Because if you are be talking to customer, his first question to you, can I get this records in a report format? Can I get these records in a dashboard? Then you should know, yes, it can be or it cannot be. I'm putting a dashboard called the batch seven. Group means that who is maintaining this? It doesn't mean that who can see, who is maintaining this. And Restrict to roles who can change this. Any user who has an ITL role can change this. Any user who has an admin role can change this. These things you can do it. Click on the submit. Now, as I said, dashboard is what? It is a collection of reports only. Report we done. Go here, click on the reports. Which report you want to put? I want to put this report. Add. Done. Your dashboard ready. You want one more report? No problem. Go back, report. And I click on the new report. I click add. Report is ready. What you want, the report which has created, you can do it here. But you you have a question. Atul, you says that on the dashboard we have a separate separate section. That section called as a tab here. Click here and create tab and rename it. I am working as operation manager taking incident incident tab. Huh. Change tab. That's all. Multiple tabs you can create. You can share the dashboard with anyone. Sorry to say, but don't think that I'm I'm going very fast. I want to put something open questions for you guys to do exploration part. Try to find out that what this settings button do. I want to see the dashboard in this format. You can see it. No, no, I want to see in this format. 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 You can do it. These are the all cosmetics one. If you want to see, I'll tell you, go back here. Dashboard. Go to all because you we all have an admin rights here. Try to open a change dashboard. Out of the book dashboards are there, you can see. These are nothing, these are just reports. And reports has been added into the single page that's called the dashboard. This is the requirement which came from the service just specifically, from the NOC team, from the command centers. If any one of you work in the properly command centers, they have a big, big screens. In one of my in one of my company, I was doing a ITIL implementation for NOC team. When I entered in this NOC team, you will not believe at least they have 60 big screens on the wall. And I said, what are you doing? Hey, we're tracking all these things. These are the, our reports and the, these are our dashboards. And we're tracking the things from the dashboards only. These are the important here. So being a consultant, if you're not good in transform map, I have no doubt, I have no issues. But being a consultant, if you're not good in dashboard and reporting, then you have to be do little hard work here because these are the primary question asked by a customer to the consultant. Clear everyone till this point. Bumi Kunal. 
any doubt any question i'll go one by one now i want to be hear everyone voice yes kunal okay catchy and sneha ha bol bol question was the dashboard and home page yeah? yes okay. what is the difference between dashboard and the home page okay. and how how as a user i can set that whenever i log in into my instance i should only get the dashboard not the home page yes neha any doubt any question mm, no sir so we can put the landing page as dashboard rather than you can but where the setting is there you have to be check okay you can you can catchy any doubt no no atul vikola vikola no pur um no atul i think gala i think uh, dashboard we need to more practice to get more hands on on the dashboards mm. your your code is telling me that you visited a good place in the north india where the still uh, what i can say snowfall is going on or a little more cold is there uh, no at all i didn't go to anywhere <laughs> uh, i was okay. in my hometown varanasi so Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay, fine. Avi, any doubt? Laura, I'm good. Great, Deepika. No, no doubt at all. Good. good so if nobody has no doubt and i'm assuming see again something which i want to take in the depth which i'm taking it but something which i know that you guys do exploration part you should do it at your end so with this i have completed the reporting and dashboard topic as well this we'll pick up this little later this one okay let me stop the recording kane was also there right i saw kane was there maybe he dropped off let me stop the recording here now